Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I will be representing my team, uh, Alisa Kleib, Chenadi Nomirov. They are not here for personal reasons right now. I am a psychologist. He's, Edin is an embedded engineer, and uh, Alisa is a product manager. So we kind of have a balanced team for this kind of tasks. So I will start with this first slide, which everyone can relate to, I think. Uh, the crowd, the noise, the arguments, the daily, daily, daily crowd and noise that we all envision in these photos. That is all we can connect deeply with, all of us. And this is something that is a real problem in Sarajevo for a long time, the traffic. So this is the problem that we will be solving right now through our Audi application, which is a ride sharing application. So in essence, we are trying to form a system because nearly 90% of participants drive alone, especially in rush hour. So we are trying to reduce this number and we are trying to leverage on this potential for the application. So we are trying to create a system for more efficient travel, more cost eff effective and to save people's time because time is the most valuable resources that all of us have. So why waste? everything in, tra in traffic, full of stress, full of frustrations. And that is why we are trying to give this opportunity to people to have more control over their time and to have more control over their daily lives and to find partners who can be the initiators of change. So the main question is, can we reduce the number of cars on the road? Yes and no. Statistically, we can do this, but that's not the primary goal here. The 70% of people from our survey say that they would be open to using this app, but this is a long-term pro process, and this is something we cannot do alone. This is something that we are trying to do, to initiate change, to initiate the reduction of the number of cars. So that is the goal of Audi app, to create a community which will hop on the trend that will try to change this specific goal. So Audi platform is really a user-friendly app and it's really easy to use. You register your account, which will be used for matchmaking specifically. And uh, you just uh, type in the location where you want to go, the driver will, will accept or, the, or decline. But when he starts the travel, there will be a, a lifetime GPS tracking, which will enable timely precision of meeting the clients and for security reasons also. And drivers can redeem the Audi credits that they gain at the end of this ride to buy goods for gas, food, or discounts in markets. So the market opportunity is Bosnia and Herzegovina, but urban areas, large cities in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and with the potential of expansion to XU countries. The main focal point here is youth, 18 to 30 years who so will use this who don't have cars who are going who are students who will work and who want to go cheaply and in comfort and that is the main part that we are targeting and the second part is schools public institutions and tech companies and of course manufacturing companies that are already using something similar but we will provide them with ease of access and we will provide them security and we will provide them comfort the revenue model that we have is basically 10% fee for all the trans trans transactions in Audi credits. So the average spent per customer is 50 bump per month. That is what we calculated. And we will take 10% of this. We, we would need around 1,000 customers for this to be profitable in the future. So the platform development will be around 20,000 bump in the first six months and the main operating costs are Google APIs, platform hosting and customer support. So it will take around a year to uh, return initial investments. So this is the main ask, 20% bound for 25% of share in the company. So thank you for coming and hop in into Audi for a greener future and to creating a community that is starting a change on a very large trend in the world today. Thank you. First of all, thank you very much for the presentation. It was very convincing. Should maybe think about political career in the future. <laughs> At least it looks good. Now, the question, back to the questions here. So 
this platform would mean that users would change behavior like on what they do today and normally like behavior changing habit changing is something very difficult have you thought about that so that is actually my part because one of the things i am actually working on heavily in psychology is social engineering so that is something from my side that i would do through marketing networking and communication with people so what is the change the main target that we had here the main problem that we had here is bosnian mentality it's kind of a closed mentality so we solved it with younger people younger people and new generations who are affected by the west specifically and they are most they, this is common to them the second part to do this is a long-term process so the first three to six months would actually be slow in that sense that we would connect people who know each other already because i've spoken maybe to 20 people right now who are ready to help me use this my colleagues the people i know from my network so we would start with that specifically then when that if that becomes successful we will scale up through marketing and social engineering but we can speak of that later because that's a more complicated process you said something really interesting. I think it's a great idea, but you said something interesting about how you want young people to use this. Right now, they're using probably public transportation. So they're actually moving. The, so there will be no net car reduction because they're not driving cars. So I think that's not the right way to do it. I think you want to target people that are driving cars and you want to do carpools instead of having young people, you know, because they're using buses and trams right today. So you're not really reducing the number of cars. You're just putting them, putting more of those in the cars that are they're already on the roads. So I think you could do better in terms of reduction by having people that are already driving, pulling each other with each other. So it's a different different demographic. Okay. So, uh, one of the things that we've researched here, so the basic point of all of it, uh, the starting point will be young people because they are the most likely to use this app. And we need something for change. So that is the main point. That is why I mentioned this is a long-term pro process. So right now, many young people, 18 to 30 years in Sarajevo, I'm not speaking about smaller cities, already have cars. Because I can give the details, statistics later, but now one household have many cars, two or three. And young people are already driving. So we are the first step is to give them away because students, yes, they use trams, but they don't like trams. And there are other students from Sarajevo, for example, who already have cars, who are already dom domestic here, and they use them. So we want to connect those two sides, those that are using trams, those that are, that are you using cars right now. I agree with you totally. And that is one of the problems that we currently have and we are trying to solve it with this connection specifically. Then while scaling, we want to include people over 30 years old who will slowly get into our network. Uh, what is your proof of work? What have you built already? Uh, when are you launching and uh, how do you prove that you are gonna execute? So basically right now, we have a mock website, which will be used for attracting users because one of the functionality functionalities, the thing that will make us different from other apps, we will have a matchmaking algorithm. So that is the thing that will kind of differentiate us from others. That point will require maybe three to four months of development, of iterative development. And we will use these initial u users to provide that feedback for the matching algorithm. So uh, that's around three to four months. Right now we have a mock website that, that we are using to post on Facebook groups, Viber groups who are already uh, using this similar, and we will try to gain those customers. The exit point is uh, one of our goals is to actually build something within four to five years so we will have the opportunity to kind of poke uber to poke blah blah car to just say we are here here because there is none, nothing similar to this in bosnia herzegovina 
there's a reason for that probably because it's harder for them to bring their business he here. So we will try to uh, go from Sarajevo, Banja Luka, Mostar, Zenica, Tuzla, increase the revenue, increase the profit, and then we will go try to go to Zagreb and S S Serbia, uh, Belgrad primarily, to just tell everyone, okay, we are here. We are here, we can be your competitors in a smaller scale, so that's probably our exit strategy in four to five. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have one online question, but please, one sentence. So Drajan asked, uh, what is the difference from blah, blah, car? Just one thing, they put a, philo a philosopher to present, to answer questions. So uh, blah, blah, car is, blah, blah, car is between towns. So from Zenica to Mostar to Tuzla, this is in the city, similar to Uber. Uh, just, just uh, I didn't give too much advice, but we can talk later. But never undervalue your company. You're selling too low. I mean, and never give 25% in the first round of investment. So, I mean, like, yeah, please. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.